Alrighty, here we have a replay from, I believe, one of ODM's tournaments. I think this was the finals. It was Plague Penguin, or Blood Penguin, whatever you know him as, versus the Phoenix King. Ogres versus Dark Elves. Awful lot of Dark Elves. Always will be until we get a patch. It's been many, many months since we got a patch that affected the meta. Um, I think pre-Immortal Empires? <laughs> That's a joke, but only barely. For the Dark Elves. Two Scourge Runner Chariots. Th three Dark Riders. Two Cold One Knights. Two Dark Shards. Crows of Cain. And then a bunch of Dread Spears, including the Halibroni, with, of course, Malekith up in the sky with Soul Stealer, Gaze of Malice, and Noxious Breath. For the other side, in Phoenix King, five Noblar Trappers, the Maneater Pistol ROR, the Powder Guts, then we have Ogre Bowls with dual weapons, Ogre Bowls, four Sabertusk Packs, the Sky Striders Crushers ROR, and the Slaughtermaster of the Great Maw with only Troll Guts for a spell. He also has Blood Gruel, which sucks, so don't take that. It only heals you, it doesn't heal your whole army. Anyway, Dark Shards teeing off onto Noblar Trappers. Sky Striders catch a little bit of collateral damage and decide not to go there, which is probably smart. Scourge Runner Chariots deleting the Powder Guts while I was busy talking to you all about the builds. They've already killed four models and taken the Powder Guts down to half HP as the Scourge Runners continue to punish those guys. Now, the Scourge Runners are taking a little bit of damage in, in response, but it's still pretty good. Saber Trust Pack's getting in a fight with a mix of Cold One Knights and Dark Riders. Malekith looking like he's lining up for Breath Attack, maybe, or he's just going to fly down there and cause a quick terror up. Meanwhile, the Crows of Cain diving in onto the Noblar Trappers. And Dread Spear is holding. Holding as best they can as Cold Knights get a counter charge. It was kind of a limp counter charge, but they are here. They are trying to peel some stuff off. Meanwhile, Malekith did what he set out to do. Sabertusk packs are routing in all directions. And Noblar Trapper is throwing in. They're, they're, they're pitiful range attacks, but they're doing their best. Dark Shards, mostly safe health-wise, but this one is beset by two Ogres, and now the rest are pushing through the front line. Scourge and Chariots will have to continue to fall back. man your Pistols have still taken a lot of damage since we last talked to them. And the Sky Strider is getting shot in the side by Dark Shards. So far, things are looking okay for the Dark Elves. Saber Tusk Packs are back. Malekith still continuing to fight against these Noblo Trappers and the Saber Tusks. I don't know if he's gotten any Breath Attacks off, but he probably needs to go do that sometime soon. Dark Shards are trying to find somewhere to go, but all of their nearby friends are routing, and the Scourge and Chariots are nearby, but they are also under duress. So the Dark Elves are in mass exodus right now. Really, all portions of their front line are falling apart all of a sudden. Murderous Prowess is popped at last. I'm sure the Dark Elves are happy for that, so all their units get stat buffs after most of them already left the fucking game, but whatever. That seems fine. Sabertooth still trying to fight Malekith. Cold One Knights did finish off those Ogre Bulls, and now we'll probably have to contend with Noblar Trappers and Sabertooth. But Balance Power is all of a sudden in favor of the Ogres. I would tend to agree. Powder Guts got a big heal, either from an Overcast of Troll Guts or from a Butcher. Not entirely sure, but the Scourge on Chariots are like, fine, we'll just kill you again, and already whittling them back down towards half HP. Cold Knights fighting Sabertooth and the Sky Striders, but it looks like the Sky Striders are opting out of that battle. And Dismember is going to keep these Scourge Runner Chariots in range of the Ogre Bulls with dual weapons. Can these guys get attack animations off onto the Chariots, or will they run uselessly beside it? <laughs> Let's find out. Looks like uselessly beside it is the order of the day. Dark Riders Countercharge might be able to push off those Ogres. Their leadership is not the best. Meanwhile, Malekith is still fighting in the distance. Cold of Knight's still fighting as well, and the Crows of Keen are here. But the Dark Elves are kind of on their last breath at this moment. Man Eater Pistols get rear charged by Dark Riders. But whenever they're losing melee combat, their stats get insanely jacked. So right now they're winning it, meaning the Dark Riders actually can do a little bit of damage. Some Dark Shards have rallied in the distance. They're all trying to fire at the Sky Striders at the moment. So have these other Dark Shards. Um, but these ones maybe you want to focus on the Mater Pistols that are actually in range. Because right now they're just lumbering around to try and catch up when they could be firing at the Mater Pistols over here. Scourge Runner is using the last of their ammunition. Shooting up into the sky for some dumb reason. Don't know why they were doing that because the Harpies are their friend and Malekith is their friend, but whatever. Big breath attack from Malekith. He is going to land on the Sky Striders. Dark Shards trying to fire at point-blank range. They do terror out, but Scourge Runner Chariots are absolutely destroying the Sky Striders right now. And a follow-up breath attack. Malekith is doing his best to snipe out the Slaughtermaster of the Great Maw. He lands one hit on him. Now, this is an important thing we have to pay attention to. He lands one hit onto the Slaughtermaster of Great Maw with a charge bonus. Okay, he's been staggered, but the Sky Striders are pushed off. If Malekith can snipe out this caster, this game is 100% over. He lands another hit. But anyway, if he can snipe out the caster, he can route the whole ogre army. 
All right, Malkith has 58 melee attack. Slaughtermaster has 48 melee defense. 58 to 48. So he has 10 more melee attack than the enemy has to melee defense. He just missed two attacks in front of you. All right, cool. Misses a third. All right, cool. Hits. So he's, he's one out of the last four. Misses. He's one out of the last five. Misses. He's one out of the last six. Now remember, I'm going to pause it because I don't want to miss it. One out of the last six. Remember, if he if he kills this guy that he jumped onto, he can win the entire game. He's taking damage while he sits here as a whole bunch of Nabla Trappers are trying to pour fire into him. The Sky Strikers are trying to come back. Powder Guts are shooting at him. So Malekith is paying a lot for this duel. But he should be winning it. So one out of six. One out of seven. One out of eight. He did two of my animations there. One of them was one out of eight. One out of nine. Two out of ten. Three out of eleven. Extra greens. Pop's not a heal. Three out of twelve. Four out of thirteen. Wait, three out of thirteen. Because he didn't hit there. Three out of thirteen. I don't know if that was a hit or not. I'll give it to him. Four out of fourteen, maybe. 4 out of 14 or 3 out of 14. And the Slaughtermaster lives. He lives through that whole exchange, which he should have, by all rights, been bodied by Malekith. Should have. He was completely alone against a Dragon Lord with better stats and armor piercing and terror, and he just fucking stood there and took, like, no damage. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. And at this point, the live stream started to despair. I did too. The Powder Guts are almost heal caps. So are the Sky Striders, but there's still enough of them around. Powder Guts have 74, 76 melee stats when they're they're losing melee combat, so they're just kicking Malkit's ass right now. Maybe he has another Soul Stealer, but a big charge is coming in. He's taking a shitload of damage, and he just can't do it alone. He is going to get ground down to nothingness. And man, if... Oh... If he had hit, like, half of his attacks instead of, like, a quarter. Because it was maybe 4 and 14. But we can definitively say it was, like, 3 and 13, but... I don't know. He hit, like, a quarter of his attacks instead of half, and it was just brutal. It was just brutal. Malekith, 2,400 value, even without that. Dread Spears got mostly rolled over. Dark Shards did great. Cold and Ice did fine. Scourge and Cherries did fantastically well. Harpies and Dark Riders also did pretty nicely. The Phoenix King of Slaughtermaster did a lot because he never fucking died. Noblar Trappers all did fantastically well. Ogre Bulls mixed but pretty good. Sky Striders did nicely, but you do have to factor in all the healing they got. Powder Guts the same, but they did fine. And Saber Test Packs did very well, but <laughs> it is a GG. It is a GG. Rest in peace. Blood Penguins and Malekith RNG. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.